Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. On very popular request from a lot of you, I'm here with another video on sunscreens. I have my most favorite top six sunscreens right here. Now I have done a similar video in the past, a long, long time ago, and uh, I did share some of my favorite sunscreens in that video as well. But uh, in this video, I have some new options for you. There are no repeats whatsoever. I do uh, like some of the sunscreens uh, from my previous video as well. If you haven't seen that video and would like to, I'm gonna link it right above here. Now I know this video took a long time. That's because anything that's skincare in specific guys, uh, especially moisturizers, serums and sunscreens need to be tested out on not just uh, for a longer period of time, that is at least for four weeks, but also on different skin types and skin conditions. So so the products that you see here in this video are not tried just by me but also by my family members and uh, some of the products were also tried by some of my team members so that we can see the results on different skin types and you know come here and help you better uh, in terms of choosing as to what product you should go in for. So you're likely to find a perfect match for yourself in this video because uh, we have kept different skin types and conditions in mind whether you're oily, combination, acne prone, sensitive skin condition or your dry skin, you uh, can find a suitable sunscreen for yourself in this video. Not just that, uh, we've gone a notch ahead in this video and I've tried to keep uh, something which is super affordable. So the sunscreen start from 350 rupees and uh, majority of the sunscreens that you will see here are between five and 800 rupees. I do have a high-end option in this video as well. So we've kept a decent balance. We are gonna talk about textures, ingredients. I'm gonna give you a very slight brief uh, on the types of sunscreens, chemical and physical. I'm also gonna tell you how to read the labels, SPF and uh, what is a PA++++ rating? What does it mean? Uh, very, very briefly, not to confuse you guys, but to give you a little bit more information. I'm gonna leave the timestamps here so you can skip to the path that you like. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you've also hit the notification bell. Do also follow me on my Instagram account. And now without further ado, let's dive right into this video. So guys, first let's quickly dive in and see what are the different forms of sunscreens available in the market. There are two major forms, a physical sunscreen and a chemical sunscreen. And I've listed right in front of you three major differences. A physical sunscreen works like a shield. It creates a barrier which blocks and reflects UV rays before they reach the skin's surface. On the other hand, chemical sunscreens work like a sponge, absorbs UV rays and convert them into heat, which is then released by the skin. Now, physical sunscreens are formulated with zinc and or titanium oxide. On the other hand, chemical sunscreens are formulated with one or more of these ingredients like uh, oxybenzone and avobenzone, etc. The third difference would be that a physical sunscreen creates a layer on top of the skin. However, a chemical sunscreen gets absorbed into the skin. Now, first, let's see what does the PA rating means on a sunscreen and how does it correlate to SPF? I am going to take one of the sunscreens, for example, let's take this one right here from L'Oreal Paris. This reads that this has a PA rating of PA++++. PA simply means protection grade of UV rays, which is used to measure SPF, sun protection factor of a sunscreen. Now, the PA++++, which is four times plus, is the maximum rating that is available. And if you have a sunscreen that that reads uh, SPF 50 or 50 plus with PA++++ rating, that is basically a pretty good uh, sun protection factor and a pretty good solid sunscreen that you're getting out there. Now you will see that a lot of companies label their sunscreens as broad spectrum. What does that mean? It means that that particular sunscreen provides protection both from UVA and UVB rays. Now, thanks to FDA, uh, if it's labeled broad spectrum, it means that UVA protection is equivalent and proportional to UVB protection in that particular sunscreen. Now, UVA rays uh, penetrate deep into the dermis, which is a layer of the skin, the thickest layer of the skin. And uh, UVB rays basically burn the superficial, the topmost layer of your skin. Now let's dive in and see what are the sunscreens that I want to recommend to you guys. The first one is my most favorite right now. This is the L'Oreal Paris UV Perfect Super Aqua Essence. This has, like you see, an SPF of 50 plus and has a PA rating of PA++++. This also provides UVA and UVB protection. First, let's talk about the texture of this. It's super, super lightweight. It has a very watery texture. If you're oily skin or if you're combination skin you are likely to love this product it works beautifully under makeup 
I am going to take some at the back of my hand to show you guys. This is the one that I'm wearing underneath my makeup. It really gives you a very plumped up, hydrated uh, skin kind of a look and it spreads out super duper easily. Very, very lightweight formula. That's what I love about this. If you will see that it does not leave any white cast um, on your skin either. Now, what I like about uh, this particular sunscreen is not just that it has an SPF of 50 plus, it also comes with a solid PA rating. It has a great formula. Even if you're dry skin, I feel this is a product that you can definitely give go because you are likely to appreciate the texture of this product. Now, this is the kind of formula which is non-greasy and super lightweight. It has a derivative of vitamin E tocopherol in it, which is generally a great ingredient for the skin as well. The only thing I would say about the sunscreen is that if you're sensitive skin, definitely make sure you patch test this because this does have fragrance, both by smelling and also in the ingredient list. The fragrance, however, is extremely subtle. That's why I say that definitely patch test if you're sensitive or if you're acne prone skin before you dive in and put it all over your face. Moving on to my second recommendation for a sunscreen, and this is a great formulation as well, again, priced very well as well, is the Requil Oxybenzone and OMC Free Sunscreen. Now, this uh, has an SPF of 50 plus, and this comes with a PA triple plus rating. First, again, let's talk about the texture. I have taken some at the back of my hand. It's a super duper lightweight formula. Um, I really, really like how it gets absorbed in the skin easily. Does not leave any sort of white cast. It's non greasy and it really sits well under makeup as well. Now, this is the kind of product that I feel would work mostly on a lot of different skin types, dry skin, oily combination. Um, the brand claims that this is a non comedogenic product it is meant for sensitive oily and acne prone skin I pretty much agree the only thing is that sensitive skin people must definitely patch test this product as well because this has a little bit of fragrance in it in the ingredient list if you smell it it almost is um, no fragrance at all but if you are sensitive skin or if you're acne prone I feel it's really important for you guys to make sure that you patch test each and every skincare product before you inculcate in your skincare routine especially anything that has fragrance in it now, this Requil sunscreen comes with a broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection as well. So when you have an SPF of 50, you're getting here a PA triple plus rating. You're also getting UVA and UVB filters. I feel it's a great sunscreen to invest in, also easily available, fairly affordable for the quantity that you're getting in here. A couple of ingredients that I do want to talk about here, which are great for a sunscreen, are tocopherol acetate, a derivative of vitamin E. This also has glycerine, aloe vera juice, and this also has propendiol. Propendiol is a great emollient, it's a humectant, and also a solvent. Moving on to the third sunscreen, again from Requil, but amazing formula right here. What I'm referring to is the Requil Ultra Matte Dry Touch Sunscreen Gel. Now this comes with an SPF of 50 and has a rating of PA++++. Great sun protection factor here and you're get, getting a great PA rating here as well. First, let's talk about the formula. I have taken some at the back of my hand. You will see this is not that runny. It's a super duper matte formula and hence it comes in a gel form. Uh, it uh, spreads out very easily. It's non-greasy, absolutely leaves no white cast. You will see that it has given me a pretty matte finish here. Who will I recommend this for? If you're oily skin, you are likely to love this in summers because it's gonna sit so beautifully on your skin. Even acne prone skin can use this because this is gonna act as a perfect primer underneath your makeup as well. So if you are someone who's acne prone or have any sort of um, acne marks on your face or oily skin, you can just uh, use this as a primer underneath and your foundation is gonna stick so very beautifully. It has a very, very beautiful texture, like a soft uh, feel to it. I have a combination skin and I actually liked using this as well um, because in summers, my skin tends to get too oily in the T-zone area. In winters, a little bit too dry. But if your combination skin and your T-zone gets oily in summers, this is definitely the one to go for. Now, a lot of you ask me that uh, you get sweaty when you apply a sunscreen and uh, which is that one sunscreen you can reach out for, which will not make you feel sweaty and stick on as well. I say this is the one you can definitely try guys because 
is a mighty zone in summers and it's already summers in Delhi. I have tried this many a times under makeup as well. Uh, just wearing on its own, it does not sweat at all. So this is a product you may want to invest in. The other thing I do want to mention is that the brand uh, claims that it's non-comedogenic and it's for all skin types. I would say that dry skin people may not enjoy this sunscreen that much because it leaves a super duper matte finish. But um, I have given you other option. You could go in for L'Oreal and a couple of options that I'm going to show you. Also, this has fragrance in the ingredient list, not by smelling. So if you're sensitive skin or if you're acne prone, definitely make sure that you patch test this first. The fourth sunscreen that I want to talk about is the best sunscreen that I've used so far and I will tell you why. What I'm referring to is this one right here. This is the Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence. Comes with an SPF of 50 plus with PA++++ uh, rating and also is broad spectrum sunscreen with UVA and UVB filters. Firstly, the texture is so lightweight. It is definitely super airy. It is more like in a sense, has a beautiful water-based formula. I am gonna take some at the back of my hand and show you the texture spreads out like a dream, guys. It leaves the skin looking so beautiful and plumped. It's like you've um, actually worn a tinted moisturizer. At least that's how it works for me. I love how it sits on itself also on the skin and uh, beautifully under makeup as well well definitely very airy and a lightweight formula here now this is the kind of product which i feel is going to work for oily combination and even dry skin for that matter oily skin you guys are going to love this product because it's so light on the skin but the fact that it leaves uh, that sort of a hydration on the skin makes it a product that can be used by dry skin people as well. I have a major ingredient listed in front of me. This has butylene glycol, which is a great humectant, solvent, and also an emollient. The only thing I would say about this sunscreen is that it does have a few essential oils. Essential oils can be a little bit irritating for some skins, especially for sensitive skin condition. So if you are sensitive skin, make sure that you definitely patch test this for about three to four days before including this full time in your skincare routine. Moving on to the fifth sunscreen, and this is something I've spoken about in the past as well. You guys already know that I love this sunscreen, and I have spoken about this in a couple of my different videos as well. What I'm referring to is the La Shield sunscreen gel. Uh, this comes with an SPF of 40, has a PA++ rating, also is broad spectrum UVA and UVB filters. Now, La Shield has one or two other options also. This is the one that I feel is an incredible formula in the sense that this is going to work really well again if you're someone who is oily skin um, you are looking for something that's matte on your skin and doesn't make your skin feel sweaty this is the one to go for even combination skin can actually use this especially in summers when the t-zone tends to get oily uh, works beautifully under makeup the kind of texture that this has i am going to take some at the back of my hand and spread it out for you it really does work like a primer underneath your makeup as well. It's uh, really, really a matte formula, extremely comparable to the Requel one. Um, also in terms of pricing, I think both of them are pretty comparable in the same uh, price bracket. Overall, this um, I really feel has a beautiful soft touch to it once you spread it out. It gets absorbed very easily as well. The only thing is it has a little bit of fragrance by smelling it in specific. Uh, so again, if you're sensitive skin condition, make sure you patch test this. Moving on to the sixth and the last sunscreen for this video and the most affordable one at that uh, in this video in particular is the Lactocalamine Daily Sun Shield Matte Look Sunscreen with Kaolin Clay. This has an SPF of 50 and has a PA++ rating. Also comes with UVA and UVB filters. Now, um, I wouldn't say this is a matte sunscreen. I will show you the texture at the back of my hand. It definitely has a very, very creamy texture. It's non-greasy for sure, non-oily, but it does give you uh, that very hydrated kind of a feel. It doesn't sit matte in any way. Uh, so if you're oily skin, uh, you may like this product, but definitely if you're combination and you're dry skin, you are likely to appreciate this product quite a lot because uh, uh, it sits uh, non-matte but non-greasy as well. 
Now, what I do like about the product is that it's so affordable and the kind of sun protection factor that you're getting here with UVA, UVB filters, even with the, the PA rating that you get here is excellent. The only downside I would say about the product is an ingredient which I personally don't approve of. Other than that, I feel fairly affordable product for the quantity available easily online and offline as well. This smells exactly like lactocalamine and um, it actually has the texture of lactocalamine as well. So if you are someone who's used and loved lactocalamine, you are likely to appreciate this product. So guys, before we wrap up this video, couple of thumb rules of applying sunscreen. Firstly, it has to be used both indoors and outdoors. That's a mandate, just make sure you do it irrespective of whether it's winters or summers. Secondly, you have to apply your sunscreen 20 minutes prior to stepping out in the sun. That's also very important. And lastly, make sure you're applying a good amount of sunscreen. You're not using too little. You have to make sure that you're using a good amount. The best way to use a sunscreen is dotted all over your face and neck so that you know that your neck and face is fully covered. Of course, you have any other exposed parts of your body, your arms, your hands, you have to apply sunscreen there as well, goes without saying. And the most important thing, you have to reapply your sunscreen every three hours. Now, I am planning to do a video on how to reapply sunscreen on top of makeup because that's another thing a lot of you have asked. If you do want to see that video, let me know in the comment section and I'll try and put it up very quickly for you guys. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. And until I see you next, guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye.